Hello, and welcome back to another video. So, as you can see from the title, I'm doing an Ulta Points haul. So, I always wait to redeem. Well, not the first time I ever did because I didn't really know what I was doing. But I always wait to redeem my Ulta Points at $125 because I'm not trying to get a Dyson. Um, so, I don't really need to save it up for anything like big, big. And there's like not really anything I'd want to save my money up for like that long for I'm gonna try um if I reach platinum in the next year because right now I'm already platinum and I'm very close on my way to diamond again so my points won't expire for this year and next year but the next year after that I'm gonna have to reach platinum because I, I want to just save up my points because it comes in handy in times like these where you want things and you have no money. So yeah, I have no money, but I got $135 worth of stuff and a $20 gift card. I'll tell you how I got that right now. So you know how I said that I got gift with purchases? So if you didn't see it on the Ulta app, there was a gift with purchase if you bought $20 worth of About Face products. And I had these two things that I wanted to try. This because it's a nice green liner that I could get in my inner corners. And it's very tiny because I have very small eyes. I, I don't got a lot of space to work with. And then this because I just, it was good recommendation. So I was like, why not? And it's a nice glittery silver. I really like it. It's actually comparable to like Super Shock. The Super Shock in Frog. But like without the pink and the blue. Just the like sparkly um pc type of sparkle so anyways <laughs> um i was supposed to get a nice pink tote it was supposed to be like the shirling fur like but yeah shirling tote it was supposed to be like that teddy bear type of texture you know like the teddy bear coats and i was like that's cute and i want it in a will purchase of things i was already going to buy this is something i can add to my cart I can get this for free. I can get that for free. It's going to be great. And like, obviously it's not for free because, you know, you have to spend money to get the points. But you know what I mean? Like, I wanted it. It's essentially what I mean. And I didn't get it because <laughs> it was out of stock. But it was not a stock when I ordered it. It was confirmed that I secured my bag, you know, secure the bag. But it was out of stock when it was time to ship it. So Ulta being chef's kiss, I talked to them in the like chat box thingy and I was like, I did order it, it just didn't come. Like, I don't know what the heck. But yeah, I got a $20 gift card because it was supposed to be worth $20. So I got $20. Honestly, if my editing self can't piece whatever mumbo jumbo I just said, I'm so sorry. Um, I confused myself. But anyways, bread is now at Ulta, meaning I never have to buy it from Sephora ever again. Um, this is amazing. I got the full sized. <sighs> my hair has been missing this. Like my head, I don't know why, was like inflamed. Like my eczema was coming back in full force and she was going to beat me down. So while my body is still, still, while my body is still flaky like a lizard, my hair will not be because I'm going to be back on that grind, back to the normal. I'm not going to switch shampoos anymore. Maybe add in a different hair mask, but these are it for me. been using it for two straight years. It's been working out great. So I'm just going to stick to this now. And like I said, now that it's at Ulta, I'm going to get points for things I would have bought anyways. So yeah. Next up, like I did in my last points haul, Lorac palettes. So this one, not this exact one, because this is mine, is for my cousin because it's her birthday today as I'm recording this. And I ordered this because she always wanted to try Lorac, so I was like, why not get her something like different? And honestly, this is the most interesting palette that they have. So I figured this will be a safe bet. <laughs> but yeah, this is mine, so it looks grimy. But my favorite shade in here is this pink one right next to the like olive green because it's very just sparkle but 
not as sparkly as the Soleil palette, which I got for myself because I want to get them all. I already had the Noir and the Fairy Tale Forest, so now Soleil. And this pink over here is what I used to do this like inner corner shimmery thingy. I'll put a picture right here so you can see like the full look. Um, but this is how I did my makeup today. I just used this palette. The one thing about Lorac is that it gets grimy fast. Like, I mean, it looks fine because it looks like I used my makeup, which is fine with me. But if you wanted it to like be aesthetic, it's not going to be that way. But it's magnetic. It's cute. It's sleek. It's not too heavy. I like it. The next two items, I got some brushes from e.l.f. because if you spent $15 at e.l.f., you got tiny putty primers. These are said primers. This one is the poreless putty primer, which I'm giving to my cousin because I already have one and I already gave her the luminous one, so this is like a different one to try. And then this is like the sea bright one, which is like for, you know, vitamin C, acne or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but this is one I don't have, so I want to try it out because so far my favorite one is the matte one. But if there's other ones that would be better than that one, I would like to see. But yeah, I got this because I wanted this set specifically because if I ever try the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer, this is the bronzer brush right here. This is the e.l.f. Putty Blush Brush. And this is my favorite blush brush. I already have three, so that means now I have four. And then this is the Putty Primer Brush. I already have one of these. It's very dense. So if you wanted to use it as like a foundation brush, it's great for that. Or like just like a stamping brush. If you're just doing your whole face in like Halloween paint, it's very good for that. I've also seen like Soap Does Life use it as like a bronzer brush. So it's a good brush all around is essentially what I'm saying. It's just very big. So if you're not doing anything for your face, maybe don't get it. But it has like a little scooper on the end and... I like it but I'm not gonna open these until I need them I just wanted to get them while I could get those things as a gift with purchase and I already you know had this in my cart so why not this though I specifically got because I have two products that require it so I don't actually have the product that comes with this but I got the Anastasia one in the like um Sephora kit thing so I figured I'm going to need a little scoopy thing to actually use it and I also have the elf um like brow palette that looks like they're bite-sized palettes but it's for your eyebrows and I like it but I have to just scrape my spoolie in it so I figured this is better since it has the like metal spatula on the end and it's flat this is also good for depotting. Essentially, it's a good all-around tool, but I actually do need it to try the product that I just got. So it was a cheap way to do it. <laughs> and now we're on to the just straight up gift with purchases, but like just dollar amount, because this wasn't any specific brand. Um, but this is a Clinique bag and it has five items in it and the bag is the sixth item. I like half of these items already. So I've used this before. I actually got this in a different um, bag that I got from them. That first points haul that I made and I got that $160 bag. That was amazing. Um, but yeah, this I got and it's useful. So I don't really care. This is an eye cream. I'm kind of loyal to the Kinship Bright Wave right now, but I can try that out and then go to my full size Kinship Bright Wave because I had a full size from Super Great. I got a mini as a gift with purchase when I bought my um, Super Mellow and then I rebought the eye cream because there was like a five times points. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of set with eye creams. Um, then we have Moisture Surge. I still haven't finished my full size one that I got from Super Great, but I like it, it's good. This is what I'm intrigued by, the seven day scrub cream. I don't know if this is like something to like exfoliate your face, like you know, St. Ives type thing, or if it's like, you know, chemical type where it's like smooth, but over time it'll exfoliate. So I have to look into this, but it seems interesting. And then plain black mascara. <laughs> so yeah, I like these products. I really like the bag. It can actually like fit a lot. 
I literally had every single thing I just showed you besides the big big things like the bread the palette the bread the bread beauty supply <laughs> um stuff the palette and yeah that's it everything else was in there <laughs> so yeah it's actually a pretty decently sized bag and I'll actually use it so no qualms last but not least we have this bag wow 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 this is so pretty honestly i love it um this is where i'm holding all of the stuff that i'm gonna give to my cousin so I, the the stuff that came in here is not in here but this was the 80 dollar um spend bag so it was half the amount that i had to spend last time but i still got a bag and the clinique bag and was supposed to get a purse so i'm fine with that honestly but yeah there's just a, like a lot of random hair samples um perfume samples so i got this in my box so i guess i have ten dollars off at 30 for a pickup order that is interesting like honestly the only things that i'm excited for in this like 80 dollar um sample bag is the Lala Retro. Like I literally got everything that was listed. Um, I'll put the list here because I actually took a screenshot of it just to make sure because I like to check, you know, if I actually got everything. But you, you could just read. But I got the Lala Retro, which I wanted to try, but they don't have this as a gift with purchase as much as they do the Protini. I already know that I like the Protini, so I didn't really need that every single time they do it. This I've already tried. It's the Indie Lee Cleanser. Kind of stings and smells like strawberries, but it's not bad. <laughs> this I wanted to try because I love goat cream, goat cream, goat milk hand cream. Um, the first one I ever tried was from Crabtree and Evelyn, and I've been looking for a good one ever since, but I didn't want to like spend money on it and it sucked, you know? Especially since people said they were like finding it at TJ Maxx. So I wanted to wait until I saw it there, but now I got one. So I'm going to try this, see if I actually like it. This Becca Zero, um, which one is this? Tri Peel Acid. This is a cleansing balm, but it's pore clarifying apparently. I already like the pink one because I bought that in January with um, like skin fatuation or something like that is called. Anyways, the, the skincare was half off instead of makeup this time. And that's when I got that. So I really like that. And this was a surprise because, not gonna lie to you, kind of didn't actually read it. That's why I also screenshot it so I can see if I'm actually missing something because I don't actually read what comes in these bags. But this is the KVD Queen of Poisons Everlasting Hyper Light Liquid Lipstick. Anyways, this is a nice color. It's like a mauve dusty mauve purple. I really like it the applicator on it is mad soft like when I swatched it on my hand it felt like a kitten I don't know like it felt soft so I like that and if this is the reformulation I really like it because I've never had any of the original ones but I don't know I just always equated them to being like the Kylie lip kit so I just steered clear um, because I really didn't like the Kylie lip kits. Like, I like the colors, but the formula, oh my god, what were we on? Um, so yeah, I like this, and I actually think that this is really good. The only problem is, I use four cleansers to get it off. So, I don't know if this is going to be a problem of, like, it was just there so long and on a flat surface, because I swatched it right here where my hand is, like, flat. So maybe that's the problem. Um because it spreads when it's wet so you can clearly shear it out and you know how like natural oils on your lips eating talking wears off lip product like I feel like it wouldn't be that hard getting it off of my actual lips but getting a swatch off my hand took four cleansers and aggressive rubbing so I'm gonna have to try this you know in a time where I actually want this to last because just watching it for fun is not something I don't think I can do with this because it's, it's just not gonna come off unless I immediately take it off so what's the point 
but yeah I like to swatch my lipsticks but I'm just saying maybe don't swatch it on like a flat part of your hand because it's very hard to get off once it sinks in but yeah those are the only things that I'm actually like excited about like I said you read the list um or maybe you didn't I don't know <laughs> um but those are the only things that I actually like cared about in that bag and I really like the bag the bag is like and the glitter doesn't get everywhere like I've been seeing pieces fall off but they're big pieces like like craft glitter so they're easy to just like pluck in the garbage you know not like fine glitter I kind of wish that they gave it with like a plastic coating around it so you could still see the glitter but you don't have to touch the glitter that's my main problem it feels like glitter and I don't like that but otherwise I really like it but yeah that's all I got um it's actually quite a lot um like if I didn't get the gift with purchases it would have been a lot less because like I said I only got a couple of items and I really only got things that I wanted to try but maybe wasn't gonna spend money on and two I got some things that I just didn't have the money to buy from like an actual site because I bought from Bread Beauty last year on Black Friday um still might um but like the big things without that much of a discount it's like I might as well just put it in the haul because it's it's all gonna be technically for free so I might as well just put it in there and whatever so yeah I really only paid five dollars and essentially I paid zero dollars given the fact that I got a gift card in place of a purse which kind of a good thing because the purse was just for aesthetics I wasn't gonna actually use it I just wanted it because it was pink and I like pink <laughs> if you haven't noticed um so yeah I really like my haul do you like my haul what have you hauled what is your biggest point redeem at Ulta that's the question of the day like what is the biggest haul you ever got and what did you get gift purchase gift purchase gift with purchases like everything what did you get from Ulta because that's what I find very interesting what people would spend their hard-earned points on because it takes a minute to redeem them because even if you only buy on like the 10 point days or you only buy your favorites on multipliers you still have to spend money <laughs> so if you're buying something for a hundred dollars on a 10 point day you're really only getting like a thousand points and while that may be like $50, I think, if I'm doing the math correctly, don't hold me to that because Ulta math is kind of confusing given the fact that they like say 10 points, but they actually subtract a point. So it's actually really only nine times points. And then it depends on your level, whether it's 1.5 or 1.25 because 1.25 is for platinum and 1.5 is for diamond. So the higher your tier, the faster you earn, you know? So yeah, it's, it's just very confusing. But the whole thing is, is that like, unless you're very strategic there's not like a lot of people who actually get enough points to redeem before they expire if they're on the regular tier like there's not a lot of regular just beauty rewards members who are going to go in there and like redeem four hundred dollars in points unless they already spent like a thousand or something you know so I just find it very interesting to see people's points hauls and I never thought that I'd be doing one because not gonna lie kind of didn't know how they worked before I had an Ulta account I kind of didn't understand how people were getting things with points because I only ever shopped at Sephora and I was like we don't get crap at Sephora like how are we getting all this at Ulta for like five dollars what does that even mean and now I know and I, I'm, I'm gaming the system. I am, I'm getting it in. Like right now, I literally have 53 points. Um, it's about to be 50 points because I have to return something that's literally yellow um, when it's supposed to be clear. But <laughs> 50 points after just spending $125, not bad. So yeah, if you like this video, like this video, like, comment, subscribe do all that good jazz and I will see you in another video. Bye!